Hi friends, today's topic is in CADS layout software for multi-layer PCB how to do DRC design rule check very important topic and stack up layer setup this information you have to give to the PCB vendor this is the four layer PCB I made in CADS layout you can check the different layers this is the bottom layer then middle one power layer one ground layer and top layers I have made now this is made as per the design rule so click in the design rule you can check this all information is as per my PCB vendor that jlcpcb.com you can go there and can check the rules and their capabilities they can make up to six layers now I am interested here on multi-layer PCB so see this for multi-layer the top layer copper is one os or two os but the inner layer copper is only 0.5 os for track gap and for vs they can make smaller in multi-layer pcb now design tool check even though it's made as per the design but i should cross check so go to the tool and click verify design select the clearance and click start oh it found four errors let's see they've given the errors here most of them are related to clearance and it is going to show on the PCB where is the error. So this is the first error. So let's remove the copper flood and then move the gear away from the pad. And now this is related to the component decal. It is between the gap of the drill and the pad. Now what happens if I ignore it? The pad may get cut little but I think that is okay it's very negligible error so go to the design rule clearance and then on the SMD and the drill that particular cell change I'm going to change it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.08 minor changes and now let's check the error is still uh, there or not Now check the connection. Oh no, there is one more error. This is the connection error. So these two points are in a single net. This has to be connected. There has to be a track, but I forget to draw the track. So I'm going to make now 0.2 mm track. Now cross check again. Verify, start. Yeah, no issues on the connection, no issues on the clearance. These two are most important that you have to check. Now the question is when I was making it as per the design rules, still I got an issue. How to avoid this issue? In that way, there is a process called online DRC. Go to the option, click design. And then go at the downmost column online DRC and then check prevent errors. This option is useful. Now in this option, if I am going routing, see it's not allowing me to cross or violate any rule and it's maintaining the gap I have defined in the design rule. So this will on the go will not allow me to do any mistakes. So this is very useful option in pads layout. You must enable it when you are doing especially a multi-layer PCB design. If it is complex one and you may do mistakes. But another important thing is stack up. That is the layer definition. So go to the setup and click layer definition. You can see all the layers and their electrical information is given here. Like it's a component layer or it's a routing layer, it's a cam layer, all are given here. You should check that carefully. If you want to modify the number of layers in the electrical layer, click modify. But 
the most important part is thickness see the coating thickness is zero top copper thickness everything is given here so what i am going to do i will actually uh, make the top copper layer uh, is the component layer one nose now the inner two planes are 0 0.5 o's i have selected here see the unit as o's and the inner insulator i will select as p purge or a substrate p purge is okay now the top and bottom substrate thickness i have to set now overall thickness i want 1.6 so i have to set those thickness to reach up to 1.6 now you generate your garber it will check the drc rules again and then enable and upload that in the jlc how to generate garber file i have shown in one of my video please check that now once you upload see it's directed four layer I selected green color PCB and one OS PCB. So top layer should be one OS. Now in the description, you must write the layer details. Like I'm going to write the top layer substrate. What is the thickness of that? Inner layer substrate. What is the thickness of that? Bottom substrate and different copper layer thickness information. I should write here. Then your vendor can make a flawless PCB. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like it, don't forget to click the bell icon.